हेलो दोस्तों आज की क्लास के अंदर हम एक बहुत प्यारा आर्टिकल कवर करेंगे डेट इज ऑसिलेशन ऑफ ए बॉडी थ्रू ए टनल अक्रॉस आर्थ सो ये बच्चे हमारा अर्थ है और इसके अंदर हमने थ्रू आउट डायमीटर एक होल और टनल को डिक कर दिया है अगर इस टनल के अंदर हम एक बॉडी को ड्रॉप कर देंगे दिस बॉडी विल बी स्टार्ट डांसिंग लाइक दिस इट विल स्टार्ट मेकिंग द ऑसिलेशन सो इन दिस क्लास वी विल बी प्रूविंग दैट दिस ऑसिलेशन इज सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन दट इज एस एच एम एंड आफ्टर द प्रूफ ऑफ द एस एच एम we will be calculating the time period as well as the frequency of this oscillation so this is our earth having the radius r this is the center of our earth and the body will start making the oscillation across this center this will be the mean position like this this is our body and at a particular instant of time this body is at a distance d from the surface of earth this capital r is our radius of the earth and in uh, oscillations we have already learned that displacement is always measured from the mean position so this is our mean position or equilibrium position so presently the body is at a y displacement that is the distance from the mean position right so why this body will start making the oscillations so from the gravitation chapter it is very clear to us that gravitational force will be always acting towards the center of the earth so when the body is just above this the mean position so gravitational force will be acting downward but as the body is in the bottom half position the gravitational force is acting upward because the gravitational force is acting toward the center of the earth so because of this the body will start making the oscillations to ab bachche iski derivation ke upar aate hain proof ke upar aate hain we will be making a small derivation to prove that this oscillations are as such so what is the force acting on the body that is its weight gravitational force that is f is equal to m g dash as from the diagram it is very clear the body is not on the surface of the earth right now the body is at a distance d downside from the surface of earth at a depth d from the surface of the earth and in the gravitation chapter we have covered that acceleration due to gravity is maximum on the surface of the earth as the body will go downside the value of the acceleration due to gravity decreases and what is the expression for the acceleration due to gravity it is g dash is equal to g 1 minus d upon r this is from the gravitational chapter So by putting the value of the g dash here, what we will be getting, we will be getting f is equal to m this g and one minus d upon r. If you will just see the this d distance in the diagram, so it is very clear from the diagram this d is equal to r minus y. So we are just putting the value of d that is y. Sorry. it is r minus y so here comes f is equal to m g 1 minus and this is r minus y upon r now just taking the lcm so here comes f is equal to m g r minus opening this bracket minus r plus y upon r From this R to R, it will get cancelled out. So F comes to be M G Y divided by R. बच्चे अगर हम force और displacement की directions को observe करें, तो force बच्चे कहाँ लग रहा है? Downside presently. क्योंकि body यहाँ पर है बेटा, तो gravitational center की तरफ लगेगा नीचे. But displacement कहाँ है? Upside. So upside displacement. Is taken as positive and downside displacement is taken as negative. It means force is acting downside, है ना? And displacement is upside. It means they both are opposite to each other. So we will be incorporating a negative sign here. That F is equal to minus m g y upon r. This minus sign has been involved because force and displacement both are in the opposite direction, right? 
सो नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ वी नो डेट फोर्स इज इक्वल टू मास इन टू एक्सलरेशन सो वी विल बी जस्ट पुटिंग दिस फोर्स इज इक्वल टू मास इन टू एक्सलरेशन हेयर सो वी विल बी गेटिंग विल बी गेटिंग एम ए is equal to this is minus m g y upon r from this mass to mass it will get cancelled out and acceleration comes to be minus g upon r into y see g is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth and r is the radius they both are constant Wherever the body is there during the oscillation, अगर body यहाँ पर है, यहाँ पर है, यहाँ पर है, downside है, this g will remain same because it's it's not g dash, it's g that is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth and its radius. So it means acceleration is proportional to displacement and whenever the acceleration is proportional to displacement, the oscillations are simple harmonic motion it is what is the basically the definition of the shm the free storing force is proportional to the single power of the displacement if free storing force is proportional to single power of the displacement then definitely acceleration is also proportional to the single power of the displacement so from this expression it is very clear that acceleration is proportional to the single power of the displacement hence we can say that therefore motion is shm Now we know that acceleration is equal to second order derivative of the displacement. So which is acceleration second order derivative को कहाँ put कर देंगे? यहाँ put कर देंगे. तो क्या हमारे पास आएगा? d square y upon dt square is equal to minus g upon r into y. This is equation number one. So now coming to the differential equation of the SHM. In the previous sum classes, we have already uh, covered the article differential equation of SHM. So from that particular article, from differential equation of SHM, we know that second order derivative of the displacement. Is equal to minus of omega square y. Let me mark this as equation number two. So, if we will be just comparing the equation number one and two, so left hand side are same. On the right hand side, there is y. Here is also y. This is negative. This is also negative. So it means this omega square will be equal to g upon r. So this omega square will be equal to g upon R, it means omega is equal to omega is equal to g upon r का अंडर and what is omega? Omega क्या है बच्चे? Angular speed, angular speed का formula क्या है? Two pi upon time period, so it comes to be g upon r under root by just taking the reciprocal. T upon two pi is equal to R by G. It's under root, and what is T? It is two pi R by G under root. So this will be the expression for the time period of the oscillation. And it's very interesting to note that this time period is not depending upon the mass of the body. So whether I'm dropping a marker or I'm dropping a rock, it will take same time to oscillate. It's only depending upon the acceleration due to gravity. It is on the surface of the Earth. It is 9.8, and R. It is the radius of the Earth, 6400 kilometer, right? So this is our expression for the time period. And we know that what is frequency? Frequency is one upon time period. So we just have to reciprocate it. So reciprocal कर देते हैं बच्चे. क्या हो जाएगा frequency के expression? So one upon two pi, and it's g upon R under root. So this will be our expression for the frequency so in this class we have learned that when server we will be dropping a body in a tunnel across earth it will start making the oscillation and this oscillation is a 
SHN and the formula for the time period is 2 pi r upon g root and formula for the frequency is 1 upon 2 pi g upon r under root. So I hope you have learned this article. For more videos, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.